Hi, thanks for joining us for the Family Plot, Gardening in the Mid-South. I'm Chris Cooper. Fall is coming and it's time to change out the annuals for winter. Also, just because it's winter does not mean you can't grow food. That's just ahead on the Family Plot, Gardening in the Mid-South. Welcome to the Family Plot. I'm Chris Cooper. Joining me today is Joellen Diamond. Joellen is the Director of Landscape at the University of Memphis, and Carol Reese will be joining me later. All right, Joellen, you know I always look forward to this every season, right? Yes. Huh? Yeah, well, you, we got to look, look at what we've done this last season. And I have to tell you, the salvia did great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, marigolds, eh, but the petunias, eh. oh my goodness. <laughs> no. I guess petunias do not uh. like irrigation. Oh, uh, yeah. So mm. we won't be putting it. And look, we've got some volunteer vinca from uh. the previous years. So, but it's time to put in pansies for the fall and winter season. Okay. And it's time to t take all of this up. So let's get started and we'll gather this and put it in the compost pile. All right. All right. Yep, not much. Uh, now to prepare for our pansy planting, I'm going to let you okay. put that one in there. Uh, for our pansy planting, we're going to put down, now there's still some mulch on this from previously, but we'll dress it up just a little bit. But first we need to put down a complete fertilizer okay. that has a little bit of uh, temperature uh, de deployment, meaning that depending on the temperature is how much with water it will uh, release to the plants yeah. and we need to do that at the beginning of this fall because we want the plants to get off to a good start okay so there's no real rhyme or reason to it just you want to put down enough so what, what my uh, mother used to call uh, feeding the chickens <laughs> so you just chickens. put enough down right. so you can see it and it's not necessarily I don't want to put too much down, just enough. Then we'll get the uh, mulch out because these pansies are so small that we don't need to put the mulch down after we plant them. And let's just, yeah, just just pour out a little bit all along. That's all good. right. Okay. Yeah, and we can just kind of move it around just a little bit just to dress it up. Cover up our fertilizer. This year, for this fall, I picked a mix of pansies with what they call faces, which means it ha they have um, a dark uh, center that s tends to make them look like faces. Okay. And it's just a mix of colors. We've not used this particular pansy before, so oh, we're going to see how goody. it does this year. Yeah, let's see how it does. And as we get them out, very nice, pretty pansy. Nice. The roots are nicely spaced in the, the container. Nothing terrible. I would not try to disturb these because it looks just fine with plenty of, of uh, soil space between the roots. Mm -hmm. And we'll start setting them out, and then we'll set them out, and then we'll plant them. Okay. And how, how are you going to set them out? I know there's a rhyme to what you do. I, I usually put them in a pyramid or a triangular grid pattern. That way, when they start filling in, they'll uh, close in together and weigh one solid mass of pansies. Got it. And we have to remember, we have... Um, we have daffodil bulbs in this bed. Yes, that's right. I forgot about so, that. So if we come across those, we will uh, try to go around them. Okay. Again, and like if you have two round through here, we'll put one here, and then when I come back for the next row, we will go in between. Got it. Okay. All right. Well, I'll let you knock some of these, what we call knock them out of the pot. Ready? 
and then I'll start placing them. Okay. Sounds like a plan to me.